The recipe that makes Ted Lasso such a success has rarely, if ever, worked before on TV. But the show starring Jason Sudeikis transformed viewers' expectations. A show about sports that deeply examines human relationships, but also calls itself a comedy, it shouldn't work. But the Lasso way is unique and does it all with humor and a smile. Howdy, y'all. Ted! What do you say to a cocktail, Coach Lasso? Oh, the same thing I'd say to Diane Sawyer if she ever asked me out on a date. Yes, please. <laughs> Guys, I am fired up to talk with you. What has it been like to have the world start to kind of sort of behind the scenes see season two unfold? It's massively exciting, man. It's super exciting. Um, I, I can't wait, like, because, you know, like, we still haven't seen the, the finished products ourselves. I mean, I know we were there, but, like, I just, I can't wait to, like, be a fan. The stars of the Apple TV Plus hit Ted Lasso are just like us. Well, their desire to see the second season of their show is just like ours. What's Ted doing? Probably I'm sick. Closest thing he can find to a Dodge Ram. I know my favorite thing for returning to season two uh, to film the show um, has just been the people. Being around the cast again, being around the crew again. It's about the people you get to succeed and, and occasionally fail with. To be back on the set, what was it like for you? Jason and I had a, both of our first scenes together back, and we were both as kind of, oh, I've forgotten how to do this. Hold on a minute, um, as each other. And then it was just like the greatest gift after that. The Ted Lasso welcome wagon has arrived. I definitely had a, an appreciation and a very modest understanding of the game, soccer, football. Uh, I played it as a kid, you know, from kindergarten to fourth grade, like a lot of kids in the Midwest do. The, the names uh, are you know, a lot more syllables. Than, than I'm used to, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, Larry Bird, that, you know, the, when you start getting into some of these fellas' names, you know, it, it, it can get daunting. Learning about the game more and more, and the more you learn about it, the more you, you end up loving it. Awards pile up for this show, and really, once you dive in, you can see why. Krista, when did you know you were a part of something special? Was it during filming of season one? Was it when the Danny Rojas song was sung by anybody that loves football across the world? What, what moment was it for you that this really sunk in? Uh, well, when, when now I realized I was part of something special when all the people and fans started to say how they has the show has changed people's life. That made me realize of, of how powerful and the impact we have with this TV show. So I admit, I have been that guy in our office with friends, with family, not necessarily wearing the mustache, but trying to tell everybody just how good and feel good this show is. Midwestern influence, good old values, and just being nice, we could all use that. I'm Brad Galley. This is the only time I've ever worn a mustache show. Thanks, Ted Lasso. Bring that back to the station, will you be? The mustache looks good. Can't wait for season two.